Scrapped Wishes, The Legend of Tanabata On the far side of the Milky Way lived Orihime, the daughter of Tente, the King of Heaven. She spent her days weaving the celestial raiments of the gods. One day, while weaving by the riverside, Orihime gazed across the Milky Way and saw a modest cowherder struggling to get his ox to keep walking down the road. This cowherd was Hikoboshi, and whereas most cowherds would prod or whip the ox into moving, Hikoboshi was only using gentle methods to inspire the ox to stop grazing. He would pat the ox's head, lift the ox's chin, offer it a carrot. Sadly, nothing worked. Hikoboshi would just have to wait for his ox to eat its fill or get thirsty before continuing down the road. Orihime, seeing Hikoboshi's gentility in the face of anger, floated a cloth across the Milky Way to gently fall atop Hikoboshi's head. Distracted by its rainbow shimmer, the ox stopped grazing and began paying attention to Hikoboshi, allowing the gentle cowherd to continue his daily chores. Hikoboshi was wrapped with curiosity. Where did this cloth come from, and who did it belong to? He saw no one on the road, but surely they would want it back. So he wrote a wish upon the cloth to meet with the cloth's owner, and tied the cloth to a bamboo tree. Seeing this strange wish, Orihime laughed and visited him that same night. Seeing this beautiful woman descend from the heavens, Hikoboshi, was instantly smitten. The two talked and laughed, they played games of writing each other poetry, and shared their dreams for the future. That night, Orihime and the humble cowherd Hikoboshi fell deeply in love. Over the coming weeks, the lovers began neglecting their work. No new celestial raiments were woven, and Hikoboshi's oxen roamed unfettered throughout the local villages. The angry cries of the people eventually reached across the Milky Way to Tente, the King of Heaven. Infuriated, he forbade Orihime from ever returning to Earth or wasting any more time with the lowly cowherd. In the following days, Orihime sank into a deep sorrow. Hikoboshi continued to tie wishes to the bamboo tree each night. Both lovers continued to neglect their work. So Tente, the King of Heaven, made a deal allowing Orihime and Hikoboshi to see each other once a year on the seventh day of the seventh month, when the stars were closest to the earth. Tente asked the magpies to create a bridge across the Milky Way. Thus, once a year, on the seventh day of the seventh month, so long as the rain didn't stop the magpies from flying, the two lovers would have their wish to be together granted atop the celestial bridge.